but my trunk stay ever ready. Yeah. Assault and battery, if you scared, you never ready. All right, today's video is gonna be a quick WWE shop unboxing. Uh, this is from their buy one, get the second for a dollar sale just after the pay-per-view. And there was like three more things, well not three, but like one thing, which turned into three, that I had to get for WrestleMania. Uh, t-shirt wise and one thing for nakamura to sign I, I i remember i made the mistake with seth rollins where i got like an elite figure sign i don't even collect elite so it's literally sitting like i think it's like behind my bed i don't know i don't it was it was a bad idea i should have just gotten maybe an 8x10 but i was dumb you know two years ago i was young i was stupid i got an action figure signed that i i have no use for so now it's uh i want to get something that I can at least display or at least keep for a long time because you know it's WrestleMania, it's a VIP, you kind of want to look back, at least I want to look back. Uh, actually, I have a job interview, I'm not going to lie, in about 35 minutes. And uh, this came to the door, so I was like, you know, I'll leave in 5 minutes instead of being 5 minutes early. I'll be right on time. Anyways, first thing coming out of the box is what I'm getting signed by Shinsuke. The Pop, Figure, Vinyl, Funko, whatever you want to call them. This is, um, I remember when this came out, it was in the same the same uh, series as uh, Chris Jericho, yeah. So you got Jericho, Ted DiBiase, Bailey, Sasha, and Iron Sheik. So this one and the Jericho one are definitely the two nicest ones in the whole series. So that's gonna look pretty pretty sweet, this little Japanese signature, like blah, blah, blah. And I have a Kevin Owens one signed already. So it's gonna be this one. And then Daniel Bryan, uh, probably get him to sign one also. I have one as well because I don't have anything for Daniel Bryan to sign, and I'm not bringing a third belt. Now the two t-shirts that were uh, buy one, get one for a dollar. First one. Also, this kind of bothers me too. Not, not that I give a shit about the environment for the most part, but this is just a waste of, of just everything. Why, why have plastic bags when, you know, it's just, I don't know. Anyways, the Balor Club. This is the, uh, the nice soft material that everyone seems to be going crazy about, including myself. This Balor Club Forever, and then the nice logo on the back. Pretty sweet, or too sweet. Haha, <laughs> see what I did there. And the next one. This shirt was $1. $1.20 Canadian, because we get screwed up on everything. Monday Night Rollins. This is kind of like a trend now, too, where wrestlers will take, like, the, the raw thing. Like, Kevin, Kevin Owens did that, and then Kane's doing it for his little, uh, Knoxville, Tennessee, or wherever he's doing mayor for. I don't know. I guess it's a cool thing to do. Why, do, why doesn't SmackDown get no love? Why can't it be like SmackDown something? That's it. Small unboxing. Guess I'll just go over it again. Nakamura, little uh, pop WWE Monday Night Rollins, and uh, Balor Club. That's it. It's the unboxing, and uh, what are we, less than one month away from uh, WrestleMania 34? There's probably three or four videos I want to make before that time. Definitely uh, look out for those. So, see you guys in the next video.